Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket and I am inside my house. This is Shuttle Babe. I live in a 1989 shuttle bus. It's a one ton E350 Ford. It's a 7.3 liter diesel and um, it has an Allison transmission. So it's got all the good stuff inside her and plus the uh, Hey, I've made her my own, and it's a lot of fun living in here. And as you can see, I have uh, I have pets. That's Roxy right there. And um, little Riley is right over there chewing on little chew bone. Yes, we're talking about you, Riley, Roxy and Riley. Anyway, what I wanted to show you today in the shuttle bus is that now I have a table. A lot of you who have been following me, know that uh you know what she looks like pretty much uh on the inside and i have been talking about trying to figure out a way of putting a table in here so i have gotten a just a table from an old rv and what we have done what we've come up with is this let me show you I mounted it on a board. This is the top. It was just taken off the side of the wall. And um, so I took it and we've mounted it on this piece of board. It does have the little leg underneath that you unscrew. So now I have a little table. And what's great about it is I can slide it. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> Let me show you. Hold on. I must show you. I have this space right in here. It's right in there. And I can just push it. And it'll go right in there. So that's the table. Just like this. Now if I want to have it, see the refrigerator's right here. So it goes right underneath it. And if I wanted it to go even further in, I could take the leg off and slide it over. So... But also, if I want to just bring it over here, I can simply just slide it over all the way and right to the, the cabinet. And I have all this space, and then that way I can open the refrigerator. It just opens up all the way, and I can get inside my refrigerator. So, I'm really happy about it. It's worked out really well. It's just an easy way to um, have a table now. I just have, a, I scoot up a chair right here. I can work on my laptop, do editing programs, you know, just uh, enjoy myself. I have a little fan here. <laughs> That's the cab area. So, another thing that uh, I came up with. Let me move my chair out of the way. Are you girls enjoying your little chew snack this morning? Yeah? Okay. You like it, Roxy? Yeah, you do? Good girl. You're eating your food, too. I always put their food right here in water so that they don't, um, get it doesn't get nasty with you know dirt and stuff so it's easier for them they just jump up on the bed and get their water and eat their food they have free feeding is that good yes it is good stuff that's my girls all right another thing get sidetracked by my babies is what i did is i found this teal shoe caddy and um i love it so what i did 
this is my shower curtain. I just simply connected them together here so that when I'm showering, I have all my scrubbies, my shampoos. I even have a little light in here. <laughs> I have all of this stuff right at my disposal right here. And um, it actually holds the shower curtain really nicely. So I'm really happy about that too. Just always brainstorming, always trying to figure out ways to make it more efficient and easier to be organized and neat and not have a bunch of stuff scattered everywhere, which I'm still not completely <laughs> organized. But hey, I'm a lot better than I was. <laughs> so life is good in the shuttle bus. I uh, love living in her. She's about 24 feet long. I uh, have that shower that you just saw. It um, is a full-size shower, and it has a hot water on demand system, too, in there. So that is fantastic. So <laughs> I love it. Anyway, um, the bus has uh, been with me almost a year now. In October is when I got her last year. So, wow, I'm about to come up on my one year anniversary for Shuttle Babe. Can you believe it? I can't believe I've been in here for a year. But it's been a lot of fun trying to uh, figure out how to make her my own and, you know, travel in her and enjoy every aspect. She feels like a little studio in here. She's easy to drive. She's just like driving a van. It's just very simple. No biggie. Um, so... Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. I'm happy. I got a table now. I can sit down and relax. And that's kind of fun because, you know, I can prep right here at the table because my kitchen's right here. See, the table's there. Kitchen's right here. And I can utilize the space doing a lot right there. So, yeah, that's working out really well. Plus, just having the room to sit down and relax and watch a movie on the laptop or or just sit down and relax at the table and goof around. <laughs> you know, playing video games or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, wake up and live, people. Have your adventures. Enjoy your life. Because what? It's yours. All right. Peace Cricket out. See you guys in the next video. Give this a thumbs up. All right. Bye-bye. And in all fairness, I should show the Camplux hot water on demand um, unit that I have. I thought, well, shoot, everybody's going to be wondering what the heck that's about. So the uh, Camplux is in here and what it does. I have my blankets and stuff over here. But there is, uh, this is a water container, seven gallons. Uh, the hose goes in there. I have a propane tank back here. Um, usually I put the, the propane tank in the outside when I use it. And I have a pump. Let's just move this over a little bit. And the pump is right here. It has, I installed a toggle switch, so I just turn this on. The shower is already on, on. I do that so that I don't have to push the button. I'm just uh, wanting quick access, so I turn it on. And what it does is it lights up the ignition switch right here, which is uh, fueled by two D-sized batteries inside there. And it ignites it, and it's automatic hot water. So I have a full shower in here and instant hot water so that rocks <laughs> all right there you go